Sure. My name is uh, Ahmed Datu, and I'm the Vice President of Marketing at Zenprize. So Zenprize is focused on mobile management, and we help the IT department manage Blackberries, iPhones, Windows mobile devices, Palm devices. Uh, and our solution will basically identify problems that end users will have with their device and provide the IT department with step-by-step -step instructions on how to fix the problem. Uh, you just go out and buy your, your brand new BlackBerry 9700, you get really excited, you enter in your username and password to get it to work, and it fails. And you call your IT department and you spend conceivably 30 minutes on the phone and they're walking you through all the different things and it turns out that the carrier puts you on the consumer plan, not the enterprise plan. Our product can actually detect, detect that in seconds. Um, and so your IT department can fix it before you even call in. Or if you've ever had a, an experience where you've accepted a calendar invite and you don't see it on your mobile device, our product will tell you why. Um, if you've ever lost your device, and you can't find it, our product will actually use the GPS coordinates on the device to find the location of your device. Um, if, your, if your IT department has security policies that they want to enforce, uh, they want to make sure people are not installing consumer applications, they can use our product to make sure that people are adhering to the security policies and no one's trying to skirt around it. So those are some of the typical types of problems that our product can solve. Our model is uh, right, off, right off the bat, uh, it's an agentless mode, so you don't require anything to be installed. You can install an optional agent on the device, and of course we were able to get more data from the device if you do that, but it's not a requirement. For, for those types of things, if you want real-time information like that, you definitely want an agent. And I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about the philosophy and what we see happening in the market from, from, from an enterprise standpoint. Um, and so the, the one thing, when we look at these smartphones, they are the next, I mean, people are talking about them becoming personal computers. You know, the processing is much better, the user experience is much better. So the question is, if they are going to be the next personal computer or the next computer, what sort of tools does IT have to manage it? And so if you look at the desktop and the PC, IT has a whole bunch of tools to be successful. On the mobile device, they have nothing. And the challenges for mobility are even more complicated because with a desktop, you walk over to someone's desk if they have a problem, you look over their shoulder and you're able to help them. Well, if you've got a mobile device, you're out in the field and... Um, there's no, there's no way to connect with them. So there are unique sets of challenges associated with it. But if you look at the challenges with things like desktop, it's security, making sure viruses aren't installed. It is remote support. Um, it is things, asset management, tracking all the devices that are out there. Uh, and, then, and, then, and then the ability to do sort of uh, remote management of, of the device. And those are the types of capabilities that we're delivering in our product. So whether it is being able to look at someone's device to see what sort of problems they are, um, whether it is to be able to detect things like malware, spyware, antiviruses that are running on devices, um, our product can do that. Um, and then of course if it's tracking utilization, so you went out and you made a significant investment in all these mobile devices and it turns out that a third of the users just stick the device in a desk drawer and are not using it, our product can help detect that. It is large enterprises that we typically work with. That said, our customers range in size from as small as 10 mobile devices to as many as 55,000. So they really span the, the gamut. So we partnered with RIM about three years ago. And um, when we looked at the enterprise, RIM is the predominant platform. It's the platform of choice for a whole variety of reasons. Um, so we made a commitment to the RIM platform about three years ago, and we launched our product there. What we're starting to see is we're seeing some consumerization happen where people will go to the local store, buy a phone, and bring in the enterprise and ask for support. And that, that phone could be a, a BlackBerry Bold, it could be a Pearl, it could be an iPhone. And, uh, and so we recently sort of expanded the product to include other types of phones. We've been an alliance partner for three years. We've been in business now for about, uh, we started in 2003. Um, but for in terms of alliance partner, it was three years ago, and we're actually one of RIM's elite partners. Believe it or not, this is the first time we've participated in the EMEA event. We're a U.S.-based company. We actually just opened up an office in the U.K., um, and we opened up the office, and we just uh, announced a partnership with O2. So O2 is going to be uh, to sell, be selling our product. Um, and so th this was sort of the reason to come to the EMEA, the conference, is because of the opening of the, the office. We Actually, last year we were a gold sponsor at, at, at WES. year before we were a gold sponsor, so it's a great time in Orlando. Uh, if you're interested, come to our website, www.zenprize.com, uh, and uh, there are phone numbers that are listed there, and there are email addresses uh, to, to reach us, so feel free to call us. Thank you very much, Nick. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs>